Hi, this is Matt, and today I'll be looking at Chrome Enterprise and the user experience we see when connecting back and accessing applications through VMware Workspace ONE, as well as the Horizon client. In previous videos and a blog post, I've given an overview of the management of Chrome Enterprise, but today we're looking more at the user side of things <clears throat> and what they can expect. So what you're looking at there is my Chrome Enterprise desktop. I've logged in, and now I'm just going to launch the VMware Workspace ONE client. If this is something you haven't seen before, what Workspace ONE gives me is an sorry, aggregated application catalog. So from here, I have access to web and SaaS apps, as well as those virtual applications, um, as well as native applications. So what I mean by native would be native to the operating system of the endpoint, so iOS or Android or, or uh, obviously Chrome in this case, Windows, Mac. If there's an application here that I don't see and I want to have access to, I go to the self-service app catalog. I can bookmark that, or uh, obviously if that's a web or a SaaS app, um, or equally a virtual app, or I can install it uh, if it's a native app. If we come back to bookmarks, we'll have a quick look. So if I trigger a SaaS app as an example, so something like Concur, it's a SaaS app you may be familiar with or have used in the past. You see there that I have single sign-on. It will authenticate me. I don't need to worry about entering my credentials again. And that's then access to my um, instance and my profile for Concur. This is where I do my expenses and my travel. So that's one of the SaaS apps. In here, you can see other SaaS apps, things like Office 365, some internal systems, you know, Help Now and Hive is a training system. So we have Jira. So again, I have full SSO and single sign-on through to all those different portals, those different applications, making my life a lot easier. Also, as I mentioned, in this portal, we can um, provide access to virtual applications. So we have a Windows 10 desktop there for us as employees, uh, a published version of the uh, Google Chrome instance. What that would do is that would those trigger those apps in the way I've defined. So again, maybe through the browser, as we just saw with that SaaS app. Also, what I've installed here um, made for a slightly different user experience is the Horizon client. So if I launch that, um, again, it's authenticated. And you can see from here that I have access to either full desktops or just applications. Those desktops will be coming from different sources. So from there, you can see I've got a remote desktop session host. So that will be a, um, you know, a server of 2016, or it could be a 2012 or 2019 server, uh, a Linux desktop, Windows 10, Windows 7, and a Windows 10 desktop with an NVIDIA card, so a virtual GPU enabled in it. So if I've got, you know, a high-end power user or uh, applications that are intense and demand it, we can provide that. Equally published applications. Obviously, I'm accessing this environment from a Chrome device. There will be um, kind of Windows legacy or, you know, applications that quite possibly I've had in a Windows environment that aren't available for Chrome or aren't available for Android. Therefore, we need a mechanism, a way to access those Windows applications. So that's exactly what I've done here. You can see there, there's various instances of Internet Explorer. So you could be in an environment where you are running up multiple versions of, of IE. We're doing that utilizing our virtualization technology. If you had a Windows 10 laptop, you couldn't run side by side Internet Explorer 10 or 11, and there may be ways of doing it, but it's not really out of the box and not very easy. What a virtual platform does is give me the way to kind of segment that and, and containerize it and separate it so I can run multiple instances. What I'll do now is just launch, just so see what it looks like, a Windows 10 desktop. So as a Chrome user, it might be an application. There might be a set of applications that I want to have access to. So by launching that and that being hosted on my, uh, you know, Horizon environment, I can have access to a Windows desktop. Okay, so what you can see now is it is connected to that Windows 10 desktop. So from here, if I just click, uh, apologies, the Chrome menu came up. If I click on the Start menu there, it's Windows as you expect, as you've seen before. I can navigate and trigger applications, um, you know, or access data. So really, the point of the demo here was just to show you sort of the flexibility. Um, I'll close that off for a second and minimize that. So you can see there that that's what we're looking at, Workspace ONE. From a user experience, 
you know, that, that base or the underlying operating system of the endpoint shouldn't be that relevant. I just want to come in here and use this portal and consume the applications I need to do my job. So hopefully that's been of interest and of some use. Thanks for your time.